Hello, YouTube. Spaceman here. Um, I'm running a, a little experiment right now with some uh, Peter Stockaby black coffee that I jarred up seven months ago and um, <clears throat> I just put it in one of these veil jars I put some tobacco in here just to see like how good it would keep so that was like October um, not remembering too much about how it actually originally tasted I don't know doesn't really taste bad considering it's been sitting in there for seven months I could hydrate it but I didn't um, but I'm gonna keep smoking this bowl and see how it uh, works out for me yeah, it feels a little dry you know smells really good it doesn't smell as strong as it did um, it feels a little drier than it was here's some moisture might be able to hydrate it I don't know but um, You know, I don't think it's really a good idea to keep tobacco in these jars um, long term. Unless you're going to, um, you know, if you're going to smoke, you're going to go through it right away, that's fine. But um, seven months, I can't say it tastes bad for seven months. But, um... how this bowl turned out. Maybe I'll go grab some of my um, other coffee. Um, LJ Peretti. I do have another jar of uh, Eric Stockaby black coffee that's actually buried uh, somewhere where I can't get to it because I just moved recently. Unless I feel like moving a bunch of heavy boxes out of an awkward place, and right now I don't feel like doing that. Um, I don't know. I'll give her another try in a few minutes, and this pipe cools down. We'll be right back. We'll do a little time travel. Ready? Let's go to the vortex. Not bad. Certainly smokable, I'll tell you that. Anyway, I'll tell you a couple things I picked up the other day. Sound Exchange in Tampa. Besides a couple CDs, I picked up a few of these. Anybody out there like Catwoman? <laughs> I think she's rather cool. Awesome, isn't she? I'd like to share a pipe of uh, Stockaby Black Coffee with her for sure. Catwoman. Not a big comic book collector. Got some rock and roll comics. Got a few others here and there. Here we go. 
out here. She's sexy or what? Well, comics were never like a big thing for me, but like I said, I have some. I have a small collection. Um, maybe one day I'll sit down and read this, like I'm supposed to finish reading the rest of my, um, my, uh, uh, what was that, that pipe book? I forget what that pipe book is called I bought. You know, I can't even remember the name of it. Isn't that terrible? That's a nice picture of her. The Ultimate Pipe Book. At by Hacker. Isn't she awesome? Look at that. <laughs> Catwoman. I love it. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Crack that whip, Catwoman. And here she's clawing this beast up. She's awesome. Don't mind me. I always love the smell of magazines. Anything new, CD booklets, CD cases, so books, new books, anything. Coffee, pipe tobacco. Hell, I'd even try to smell a rock. How do you smell a rock? <laughs> Imagine that, picking up a rock and taking a whiff. Hmm, smells like earth. Alright, enough strange humor for the night. Um, but Catwoman, she's awesome. Super cool, super cool chick. But, uh, I ordered a couple new CDs in the mail this month. This one. This is Nazareth Live Snaz Full House. It's a deluxe edition, so it has a second CD with some extra tracks uh, from the Vancouver show, which was on the original. I guess the original Vancouver show actually was a two record set, so it did have um, two records. So it did have like uh, 20 songs on it. So this has some bonus tracks. I guess it has like uh, it has nine bonus tracks on it. Um, then I got this one, close enough for rock and roll. Pretty cool. And expect no mercy. Picked this up at the, sound, at the sound exchange. This one I got off of Amazon, which it was a uh, deluxe edition too. Which it was a 30th, I believe, 30th anniversary edition, which has bonus tracks. Uh, edited version of Telegram. And the CD you're hearing right now is from this the uh, LRC Jazz Legacy Anthology. It was actually a box set that I purchased at Sound Exchange um, probably over a year ago maybe more and has some but it's good variety of jazz artists if you like sampling jazz and you know if you want to know where to go with your jazz um, you know what type of jazz you want to listen to but the stock of big coffee is getting a little hot as usual it, it heats up in the bowl you know it's the way it is but uh, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with this because I I mean it's okay it's a, I don't think it was a very strong uh, full-bodied flavor anyway aromatic uh, you know so anybody see these and the, lately these new clipper lighters from Walmart 
come in a three pack. I believe it's two dollars and fifty three cents, something like that. Pretty kind of cool. It's like a pick lighter. <clears throat> Does anybody out there remember? I don't know if you remember the when we were kids and they sold the big lighters, the original big lighters, and we would or there would be like a little lever here to adjust the flame height and we would remove this metal clasp here this metal piece um, sleeve and that would enable us to like pull that lever up off of its gear bring it back put it back on the gear and keep turning it up pull it up bring it back keep turning it up until we had a flame about that high <laughs> So they kind of like, you know, gave up on that. I'll never forget the time, this is a true story, that I was filling a lighter with a can of butane. It was like in, during the 80s. And dumb luck that one. I was holding the lighter this way, pushing up the can up here so I got the lighter in one hand you know like this and I got the can here and I'm pushing down pushing down and my hand went on the activate switch to ignite ignition switch <laughs> and I don't know what happened I don't know if I if there was gas coming out you know it just it just, it just went and I just simultaneously let go of the can and it was like this big uh, mushroom cloud and it singed my beard hair and it singed the hair on my arm I'm like oops <laughs> don't do that <laughs> so just be careful when you're filling up your lighter And don't light your farts either. We, <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can honestly say I've never tried that, but I've heard stories, and it really is flammable. Okay, so stories of people running, you know, having to expel some gas and running it to the bathroom in front of the mirror and flicking that switch and farting you know crazy huh not bad not bad for for, for a, a, a black coffee blend it's been sitting for seven months in one of these not bad at all so I mean you know might not be as fresh as it was but I have to say you could safely if you were gonna go through this and say you know a couple months or something be a good idea so I'll just go ahead and keep this jar all seems like all has worked out good but I will be right back I'm gonna be sucked back into the vortex and finish this pipe and I will be back after I pack this pipe with some LJ Peretti coffee blend and we'll do a little comparison I'm gonna smoke the rest of this LJ Peretti coffee blend. Maybe I should have dried it out for a little while. I don't know. It smoked pretty good. Very good coffee blend. Very interesting. and Cavendish in a ribbon cut and if any it would just 
need a small amount of drying time. It seems to be burning finely. It seems to be burning fine. Yeah, it's very, very fresh indeed, tasty. Um, I would suggest what I did prior showing you the uh, Peter Stockaby black coffee in that bale jar. I wouldn't suggest leaving tobacco in those jars for very long because it did kind of lose, it lost something. So either the seal's not completely tight or uh, it's just not a good means of storing your tobacco. Of course, it's not good to definitely for long term storage. If you're going to take the blend you smoke every day, then you might want to put it in a smaller jar. So, oh, by the way, I have a shout out to give. I got a big shout out to a really cool guy on uh, YouTube. His name is Cigar423 Rick. Really cool dude. Nice guy. He does pipes and cigar videos too. So check him out. But that's it. Um, I'm gonna head out of here. Slip back into the vortex drink my coffee, smoke my LJ Peretti coffee blend and listen to some jazz. Catch y'all later. The only pick me up that's here to stay. back out of the vortex real quick don't go anywhere I got one more thing to show you if you're a big coffee lover coffee drinker and you're interested in the history of coffee check out this DVD it was originally aired on the History Channel as part of the modern Marvel series And it tells a fascinating history behind coffee, from its origins in Ethiopia over a thousand years ago, to the espresso-fueled explosion of specialty coffee chains such as Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts today. They take you on a visit uh, to a 300,000 square foot Starbucks roasting plant. Um, And find out how billions of coffee beans make their way from coffee farms and plantations to gigantic roasting and packaging plants. So, it's interesting. Check it out. You can get it on Amazon. And um, I believe it was ten dollars. Could have been anywhere from ten to twelve dollars. Plus the shipping. I'm out of here this time, for real. I'm gonna drown in my coffee. I'll check you out another time. Take it light. Don't take it.